Hi gang, Joe Ayers here again with uh, another installment about uh, writing, questions and answers. Before we get started, we'll send you the old website here, joeayerscares.com. Uh, if you click on the novels uh, tab in the menu, it'll tell you about the novels that I've written, maybe give you a sample to read. Um, if you go to the About Me section, find the Vita, you can uh, look up all the things that I have uh, uh, written from a scholarly point of view. Uh, okay, so today's question is what uh, book did you write that you uh, liked the best? Uh, the short answer to that question is I like the one that I'm working on at the moment the best. Uh, it's fun uh, what you're writing. Uh, you got a character and they're in a situation, you're going to figure out how they're going to deal with that situation, where they're going to go from there, if anybody else is going to come into the situation. Uh, it's just great fun turning that stuff over in your head. And of course, once you've decided what it is, at least for me, once you've decided what it is, uh, putting that down on paper is fairly simple. The um, question, though, uh, which one have I written that I, have, that I like the best? If you're looking from an academic standpoint, it would be uh, my theory called Component Theory of Communication Apprehension. That was fun because I was, um, you know, creating what I thought would explain why people are afraid to talk to one another. In terms of the um, uh, creative writing ones, the novel ones, the apocalypse one, uh, one where the country is hit with an EM. Uh, P pulse, an electromagnetic pulse, it wipes out all the electricity, uh, electronics, like this computer that I'm working on here. Uh, pretty much people are back to the, uh, you know, 18th century, 19th century, early 19th century. Um, and what do they do about it? I, I got into writing that novel because, uh, you know, around here in 2016, uh, people were uh, terrified that if Trump was elected, we'd go to war with North Korea and be a nuclear disaster, and you know we'd be wiped out. So I started reading uh, novels about uh, that, and almost all of them were very unrealistic kinds of things. Uh, they had uh, gangs forming in cities, and they were predators out uh, killing other people, taking their stuff, and. Uh, and I'm sure some of that kind of stuff will happen, but I don't think fundamentally that's how people would react. So I took it as a, you know, if this really happened to you and your family, what would you do? And I've had a fair amount of experience with off-grid living, lived off-grid for four years, uh, and have done a lot of hands-on kinds of work. Uh, and a lot of the people I know are that way. Uh, and what I did is I built the book around uh, my family and my extended family, my neighbors, that sort of thing. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, I, they weren't all true to form, all of those people. They were altered and did things they probably wouldn't do in real life and so on. But it was great fun after I'd written the book, uh, passing it out to them and saying, which one do you think is you and do you think it really fits you? That sort of thing. Uh, I would say I had the most fun with that particular novel because uh, it, it drew on uh, uh, some personal experiences and uh, on my, my sense of what other people were like around me and, and how it would all come together and how people would rally basically and overcome that particular obstacle which is really the hallmark of the human race. They overcome things, they face problems, they overcome them. Uh, so yeah, from from an academic standpoint, be the comp component theory. From a creative standpoint, be the apocalypse book. Uh, so until next time.